Love that we have each other craft a presentation by the title The Role of the Higher Education Authority in the Knowledge Sharing and Innovative Competitiveness for Responsive and Sustainable Development. We shall present in that order. We we'll begin by reflections on the seventh National Development Plan, the legal framework within which higher education institutions operate, the mandate of the Higher Education Authority, the achievements so far of the Higher Education Authority, the challenges and opportunities. Allow me, guests of honor, to reflect on the recently launched 7th National Development Plan, specifically on three quotations that catch our eye and interest. Section 10 is on human resource development. And at page 90, it says, and I quote, as people are both beneficiaries and drivers of human development, there is need to invest in them to enhance the human capacities in self-employment and wage employment that leads to social economic growth. The key words there are employment, wage employment, and human development. Enhance the human capacity for the national well-being. The second quotation is to attain desired human capital development, there is need to build inclusive and appropriate skills that respond to the demands of the labor market. Guest of honor keywords there are appropriate skills and the labor market. Those are of great interest to the higher education authority as we interact with the higher education institutions and with researchers at fora such as this one. Thirdly, it says measures will be put in place to promote applied research and training in engineering, sciences, mathematics, and ICT to enhance the quality and productivity of the labor force. These guests of honor thought were a good premise to talk about the role of higher education in national development, the importance of research for national development. Just to reflect on the development of the legal framework that has affected or impacted on the development in higher education in our country. We started off with the University of Zambia by the law of 1965. Around that time, some up to somewhere in the late, mid to late 80s, when you say the university, everyone knew it was the University of Zambia. When you said I'm at campus, everyone knew 
what the compass was. Okay, so it worked very well, and everyone who got Division Two and above was able to find their place in the university. But with time, population grew, and in 1987, the University of Zambia Act was repealed and replaced with the Universities Act number 19 and 20, which saw the establishment of the now Copper Belt University as the second public university. 1991, we saw the multi-party democracy in Zambia and the opening up of private uh, of involvement in, uh, in, uh, in industrialization. We saw the private uh, sector growing. Similarly, the 1992 Act opened up higher education provision to usher in involvement of the private sector. So the 1992 Act of the university allowed for the private sector involvement. 1999, we saw another act which introduced affiliation of public institutions to, of, of institutions rather, higher education institutions, colleges and alike, to universities, among other provisions of the act. 2008, we had another public university, the Mulungushi University, established. 2013, the Higher Education Act was enacted and it established the Higher Education Authority. We'll talk about that uh, in a few slides to come. The impact, Honorable Minister, of these legal reforms included, of course, as we said already, the opening of the establishment of the Copper Belt University. After 1999, Colleges were affiliated to public universities, but mostly they were at a diploma level. In 2002, we saw the first private university, and thereon, they started opening up. So that by mid-2015, we had three public universities and 35 private universities. By the end of 2017, we had six public universities and 58 private higher education institutions. Graphically presented is, is that. And you can actually follow the legal reforms that lead us to that. So we have, as of now, six public universities and 58. In fact, maybe by the end of next week, we shall be adding three more private <laughs> higher education institutions. The mandate of the Higher Education Authority. Okay, just before we go to the mandate, this increase in the number of higher education institutions were happening without a regulatory body. And universities worldwide are established on the concept of autonomy. Now, it obviously brought in a lot of concern. Among these 58, of course, for various reasons. There is demand for higher education, but there's also a business aspect to it. Um, you cannot run away from the fact that uh, business is about money. So some of our higher education institutions may have been driven by that business aspect. So the government was concerned and therefore enacted the 2013 Higher Education Act, which established the Higher Education Authority, a regulatory body with the following functions. Registration of private higher education institutions, 
because according to law, the public higher education institutions are established by the government through the Minister of Higher Education. So these private ones are actually registered. According to law, no one is allowed to operate a higher education institution, a university, without registration. So that is one of the functions. The second category of functions is accreditation, where we quality assure learning programs. This is for both public and private higher education institutions to ensure quality in content and in the delivery of learning programs. The interest there is to ensure that the qualification offered by higher education institution A will not be any less than another higher education institution. Qualifications in Zambia will not be of any less standard than those of another country worldwide. So it's to ensure that these learning programs meet at least the basic minimum standard to provide that learning. So that is one of the functions of the higher education authority. And again, according to law, no one is allowed to